Unity recently announced that they will be going bankrupt within the next five years, which is a good goal. But morally, it seems like they're already there. I'm Gary Boldpinay, and this is God's Fist on a Platter. Normally, when a company is going bankrupt, they try to reassure investors that everything will be okay and cut costs. But Unity likes to be fully transparent. In the months leading up to the announcement, the CEO and his buds sold thousands of shares of Unity's stock, which is the kind of honesty I can appreciate. It's like when my Uncle Bertrand was gearing up to plow his 2017 Chevy Malibu into a telephone pole on Birch Street. In the months preceding, he prepared himself by acquiring more and more moonshine. I would often say to him, I'll see you at the pole. And he would nod and smile. That's why they call him Honest Bertrand. I've told Bertrand several times that he should apply to be CEO of a company, but even his honesty is not on the level of former EA CEO John Riccatello, who joined Unity in 2014. Knowing right then that the company was doomed, he broadcasted his lack of faith in Unity by spending its cash reserves buying company after company, even those that had nothing to do with gaming. It's like when you want a divorce, but instead of saying that, you purchase Finger Food Advanced Technology Group instead. And when they don't take the hint, you proceed to purchase infamous malware developer Iron Source. When your spouse asks what it's for, you smile slyly and say, Reasons? And then retire to the garage to jack your hog to a chart of your stock plummeting. Now that's what I call paying out dividends. But game developers just couldn't bring themselves to leave Mr. Riccatello. And who could blame them? So Riccatello played the only card he had left burning the entire house down. Normally, a company updates their terms of service periodically, but Unity simply deleted theirs, which in the business world is what's called innovation. It's a lot like my Uncle Bertrand scraping the numbers off his license plates. It's what makes them both real disruptors in today's market. This allows them to do all kinds of fun, zany things, like retroactively charging fees to developers, which will eventually bankrupt the entire mobile gaming industry. I hate it when my nephew used his plays too much bug time, so I think this is a good thing. So who will purchase Unity within the next five years? My friend Steven thinks it will be Microsoft, because Microsoft loves games, and it seems like they would like even more of them. He says that they will use the acquisition of Unity to gain more opportunities to advertise to mobile gamers, but I think he's wrong. Nobody likes ads. Not even for advanced finger food technologies. Steven says that Microsoft could use the purchase to incentivize developers to put their games on Game Pass and develop for Xbox. But I think there are already too many games. Plus, who owns an Xbox? Please like and subscribe or I will not release another video. My wife says that Apple could buy Unity because Tim Cook finally tried playing a game this year and now he thinks they're good. She says that they could use Unity to improve their own game porting toolkit, which is currently a tool that you can use to see what your game would look like if you wanted to fix 5,000 bugs so you can sell it to eight people. I think she's wrong, but I will not disagree with her publicly. It's taco night, and I just can't ruin that. My grocer Seamus pick is Applovin, which is a company that tried to buy Unity last year, but which was boldly rejected in favor of bankruptcy. I think realistically the purchaser will be one of three people, Elon Musk, Reddit, or my grocer Seamus, whom you might remember from the previous paragraph. Musk will purchase Unity because he loves owning companies, especially ones he has no idea what to do with. With Unity's diverse suite of products and services, you'll be more confused than ever, which is really being in your element if you're Musk. Reddit, on the other hand, enjoys fees, randomly changing their terms of service, and driving smaller companies out of business. They can simply pick up the ball and run. But my top pick for best purchaser of Unity is my grocer Seamus, who you might remember from two paragraphs ago. I have never seen a man so deftly handle a rutabaga. And I think that says a lot. Whatever the outcome, I expect that if Unity is not purchased, we'll soon be able to find them blazing the same trail that my Uncle Bertrand did in 2014, setting his car on fire in front of a local grocer and then falling asleep beside it. Some might call it insurance fraud, but I call it being a fucking legend. Here is a drawing of my Uncle Bertrand.
which I hope you will all keep in mind as you click away from this video. And now a word from our sponsor. Please, don't trample the prairie grass. It needs you. Join me next time.